Whenever you're ready. <laughs> so in today's video, we're just gonna be showing you guys how to properly package and later unpackage a spider for shipping. So we had a customer order of Pimetallica from us. So we went ahead and ordered a box from Reptile Express. To ship you a box, uh, looks like this. It's just a standard shipping box. It's got styrofoam on the inside. It's all lined with newspaper. Um, so they shipped us the box for shipping our spider and I'm just gonna show you guys how to put it into the container. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a big ass industrial roll of toilet paper that was you know, <laughs> big ass industrial roll <laughs> that was borrowed that was borrowed from somewhere. Um, so you're just gonna unravel you get, a little bit. You get it at Costco. You can get this stuff at Costco. Uh, it's basically just one ply of garbage. You can use paper towel, whatever. It doesn't matter. What you want to do is take a nice quantity of uh, paper and wad it up and make a nice little cushion at the bottom. So you can see there, I've just, just made like that. probably about a one inch, almost an inch thickness of uh, paper at the bottom. All right. Then, assistant off camera sends you out a bottle and you just want to spray and more or less dampen the toilet paper. You want to get it. It's a bottle of water, just so you guys know. No, it's water, it's not insecticide. Um, so yeah, you just want to get it damp, get it nice and moist so that the spider is humid in transit. So get that in there. Next, you want to take another quantity wait, of... Wait, 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 I should also probably mention that um, we're moistening it because it is a tropical species. Um, if you're shipping out a desert species, you probably yeah probably don't need to moisten it, but we do it, um, you know, we just do it based off of the species, so... So next, you want to take another quantity of toilet paper and sort of uh, make a nice little funnel, a nice little, you know, oh, you mist. Got, you're going to need a lot more than that. Why? You want to make it so that the spider can't really move around too much. Yeah, yeah. Plus, we have an endless supply of that, so just be generous. <laughs> Don't be cheap on the cheap toilet paper. <laughs> it is only one ply, so it's not Let me terribly see. Hold expensive. On, hold on, hold on. Let's see yeah. how you're doing this. I'm just making a nice little like nest in the middle here. So now you've got a nice little nest formed in the bottom there. Hold on, wait, wait for it. The light off. There. there we go. All right. Now you've got a little nest formed in the bottom there. Take another quantity of paper towel and. The idea is that you want to have it secured inside and then once it's in there in the little nest you put this sort of lid of paper towel on there and just make sure that it it more or less immobilizes the spider and keeps it in a nice cushy nest of uh, tissue. foam <laughs> of tissue or foam and then eventually you put the lid on right so now we're going to move on to the scary part which is getting the three inch pimetallica into its little nest so before we get started i just want to make mention that when you're packing up a spider like this, it's probably always good a good idea to have an assistant standing by with a catch cup in case the spider decides to take off and go rogue. But right. anyways, back to you. Cool. So here we got the super deadly, super crazy, super pimetallica. Hold on, let me see it. You cannot make up the blueness of it, can you? Mm, oh shit, I should have probably brought a flashlight, but... Coming to the point where we've got everything ready to go. We've got our catch cup in place. We've got our wadded up paper towel lid. We have our nest for immobilizing the spider and letting and shipping it. And we have our spider. So we're gonna take our trusty 10 inch tongs here and get this little guy out of his enclosure and into the shipping container. So this is a matter of technique and do whatever you want. I mean, just gently coaxing it out. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a nice one. All right. Easy. There we go. So now you can see that the spider is going into... Nope, it's not going It's hungry. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and put that lid on. I wanted to show you guys a bit more of the spider, but you know what? Let's not play with fire too much. Maybe another day. Give it a quick little spritz on top. Yeah, we have another couple of these guys, so we can definitely showcase them afterwards. So there we go. One P Metallica packaged for shipping, ready to go to its new forever home. So now that we've got the P Metallica all packaged up, it's time to get it into the box for shipping. So go ahead and open our shipping box here. You wanna make sure your spider rests nice and solidly in the middle of the thing. Now, you're not gonna be able to keep it in there if you don't provide some sort of insulation. It's just gonna slide, slip and slide around. So what you do is you take some trusty flyers that I'm sure everybody has a ton of, and you just crumple them up 
and put them in as cushioning. And you want to just kind of nestle it in the middle of a nest of these garbage flyers. And finally, there's something, some good use of the junk mail, right? Be generous. Be generous with this. You get it for free, so don't don't skimp out. And just make sure that it kind of rests right in the middle of the box. You don't want it too close to any of the edges because in case it gets punched in or whatever. You want it. You want to be able to just know that it's safely tucked away. There you go. Now that it's nicely secured in the middle, tap that in there. Styrofoam lid on the box, and you're ready to tape it off. And that's how you prepare a spider for shipping. As always guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can go ahead and subscribe right here. I'm going to put a button right here. Um, don't forget to tell your friends, tell everybody this is the, we got some techniques going on, we got some cool animals. Keep coming back. So one thing I forgot to mention, it was a special request from the customer that's picking this up. He wanted to know how to unpack the spider. I mean, it's all fun and fun and games, so it told you how to pack the spider up. But how do you get this deadly critter out of the uh, container once you've shipped it? It's Basically, not deadly. <laughs> it's super easy. It's super deadly tarantula. Google it. Tarantulas aren't deadly. Um, you take the lid off. Then again, with your 10-inch tongs. Which you can get at PetSmart for like 8 or 10 bucks. Yeah. Uh, you're going to go ahead and just lift off the top part here and your spider will be ready to emerge. You can see it already, it's kind of angling to come out. Um, so you're just going to lift off that lid and you can either do this one of two ways. You can gently coax the spider into the new enclosure if you want or you can take the whole thing, just lift the lid off and throw the whole thing in the enclosure for a couple hours until the spider decides to come out. That's the way I would do it, that's the way it's been done. So uh, that's that's it. That's the technique. That's the easiest way when you're working with a fast and potentially aggressive species. As P. metallica is. Actually, fairly docile though. This one's got a pretty good feeding response, so. Cool, awesome, well. Later. See you later. <laughs>